Okay, I had a viewer ask me a question about some devices on eBay. They're about $35 to $40, something like that. And they are a um, device that can change the phase of a signal. And these devices on eBay are 8-bit digital, digitally programmable. So you have 256 steps of phase change, okay? So what is, why, so a couple questions. Do I want one? <laughs> Do I need one? Um, and uh, what are they used for? So let's first do some experiments in the lab. All right, let's take a look at the circuit. We have um, an AC amplifier and the signals coming in here, we bias the NPN. But if you take a look, we have uh, the similar uh, resistors on the top and bottom. So we're not adding any gain. We're just kind of having a gain of a gain of one here on the output. So these, these two signals should be the same. Now, we're taking one signal off of the emitter and one signal off of the collector. So what's going to be the difference? Well, uh, this one's going to be in phase. So when this goes up, this goes up. When this goes down, this goes down. But this one's the opposite. So we should see two signals um, 180 degrees out of phase, OK? So oops, sorry, my tripod just fell on me. So I have a little uh, a little circuit over here, and I've got a, a this the, the circuit that I showed you. That's that's what I have over here, and we can see that we have two signals. We have uh, two signals, and they are out of phase with one another. Okay. So if we come back over here, and we want to have some type of changing phase, well, we're going to monitor the input and we're going to monitor this output. So these two are in phase, right? So we're going to put uh, the uh, yellow trace over here and the cyan trace over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this and we're going to put it in over here. So we're going to take a little bit of that out of phase stuff and we're going to mix it in down here. And we'll put a, a variable resistor here so we can mix in different amounts, okay? So let's, uh, let's set that up. I'm going to put my yellow trace on the input. Where's the input? There. And the out is going to be over here. There we go. OK. So you can see that uh, they're almost the same. There's going to be a little bit of delay because of capacitors and the speed of the transistor and things like that. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a screwdriver and I'm going to change the uh, resistor that, that's feeding, feeding in the, the, other, the other signal. You can see that I can change the phase relationship between the two. The amplitude is, amplitude is also changing, so let's ignore that for now. But you can see that I can change the phase by, well, let's see, 45. Five, maybe 20 degrees, something like that. Maybe yeah, 15 to 20 degrees, something, something along those lines. Maybe 22 and a half degrees. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, something. You can see that I can feed in different amounts. Now, a lot of circuits are going to have automatic gain control in them, ALC. Um, and uh, it'll take care of that voltage drop. It'll put it right back up again. And so this allows us to have a little bit of changing changing phase. So that's that's an example of a simple little circuit that we can have uh, introduce some phase change to it, okay? All right, and if people are wanting to reproduce, I think I have a 5K, 10K, this is a 10K. I put in a, a 10K pot here, and I'm looking, looking at the two outputs here. Okay, um, let's take a look at some other circuits. All right, so that was one way of changing uh, phase. You can also just use LC networks, okay? So here's a simple LC network, and certainly the phase will be changed um, by the capacitance and the inductance, right? Eli the Iceman, right? I leads current in uh, ice, right? So current leads voltage in a capacitor, and Eli is voltage leads current in an inductor. All right. So you can change the change the phase using inductors and capacitors and things, right? So you could go a step further and say, well, if I can do it once, maybe I can uh, stack these things up, right? Uh, 
So here's a cool little thing where we have different LC networks and we can either turn on the transistors above to disable them or turn the transistors below to enable them. So basically we have a three-bit programmable device here and we can add these things in, in, in different ways. So the device on eBay is basically um, using some chip. And here is a chip that I found online, a data sheet that I found online that's 8-bit programmable. And this might be exactly the chip they're using, I, I, I don't know. But it is, uh, it is programmable. I'm not exactly sure what the architecture on the inside is. Um, it may be a combination of electronics and passives. Um, I, I don't know exactly how these things are designed inside, but it kind of comes down to now, um, well, what are they used for? And on the data sheet, it does kind of give you a little bit of clues. It's, it's as applications, and one of the applications is military, military radar. So um, what, does, what does military radar have to do with phase and stuff? So uh, here's a picture of this cool radar that's on like on a truck that you can carry around with you. And it's this big wall of antennas. Each one of those little domes is a antenna. And it outputs its radio waves. And you can turn them all on at the same time, or you can turn them off, turn them on and off in different phasing, right? Some can come on a little earlier than others, right? So here's a really cool um, a GIF that I found online. And this shows you how if you have a whole bunch of emitters, and you turn them on in different times, you can have the plane wave come out at an angle instead of coming out straight, which would normally happen if they were all turned on at the same time. If you if you dither their their phase, then you can come the, you can have them come out at an angle, and in fact you can do this in real time. You can have them. Uh, go at one angle and then go at a different angle, then go at a different angle. So in the old days, radars had to move. You had to have them on a little motor and spin them around. Well, now you don't have to have radars move. You can just point them electronically with these phased arrays. Um, and not only is that more rugged, but it's much, 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 much faster. And you can do it both in X and Y. So you can you can dither side to side and up to down, and you can track things, and you can do all sorts of things. And they're 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 they don't take up much room, right? So here's a picture of a ship, and that funny little nameplate on the front of the ship is actually a radar array. Um, and so you see these you see these all over the place. Submarines do phased arrays with uh, sonar and stuff. So. Um, do I want one? Maybe. I don't want to spend the money for one because I don't have any use at all for it other than just turning it on and saying, yep, it delays the phase. Okay, <laughs> next project.